Ken Livingstone was out early with his dog, for once trying to avoid more trouble. You've got to stop. One of you's got to tread on the dog. I know you don't care about me, but do please value the dog. The dog. Yeah. Suspended from his party, he's planning a rather quieter day than he had yesterday. I've got to do the, the washing now. I'm doing some work on the pond, moving some of the newts. That's my day. I'm not making any statements. The row over anti-Semitism descended into open confrontation when Mr Livingstone was challenged by the Labour MP John Mann over his comments that Hitler had supported Zionism before the Holocaust. Mr Livingstone had defended Naz Shah, who suggested on Facebook that Israel could be moved to the United States. Both are now suspended, but some senior Labour figures say the response was too slow. Well, let me say what I think is the case. Firstly, that these allegations, when they're surfacing, are not being dealt with uh, properly and quickly uh, enough. They need to be dealt with much more speedily uh, in the future. The second thing I would say is it is clear that some people in the party have made anti-Semitic comments. Jeremy Corbyn says he's always opposed racism in all its forms, but some in his party believe he's been reluctant to confront problems of anti-Semitism because of his long-standing support for the Palestinian cause. Yesterday, he dismissed suggestions of a crisis over the issue, but now the leadership is considering changes to the party rules to root out anti-Semitism. We have both been talking to representatives of the Jewish community to look at whether Labour's own structures uh, can be improved to make sure that we can send a very clear signal to people in our party that anti-Semitism, uh, we will have a zero tolerance approach to anti-Semitism. Jeremy Corbyn cancelled plans to campaign in Wales today. Some of his supporters claim this row has been stoked by his critics inside and outside the Labour Party. I think just as the Tories have an interest in stoking up the flames of whatever crisis is here, uh, which I think, by the way, is largely a crisis of perceptions, so do some people in the Labour Party. Many in the Labour Party will be hoping for a period of silence from Ken Livingstone as they try to contain the damage ahead of next week's crucial elections.